Welcome to the first in a series of short devotional videos put together by the Northern Baptist Association team, which we're sharing with you this Holy Week, one each day, as we journey with Jesus from his entry into Jerusalem this Palm Sunday through to his crucifixion and resurrection. And we're using Bible passages set in the Christian lectionary, which takes us this year to John's Gospel for his description of all that happened in Jesus' last week through to his resurrection. So today it's Palm Sunday. Let's hear John's account of Jesus' journey into Jerusalem. The next day, the great crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. John, like the other gospel writers, sees Jesus fulfilling uh, prophecies in the Psalms. Psalm 118, but particularly that centuries-old hope of the prophet Zechariah, that God would bring a new Messiah to Israel, whose coming would be recognised because he would arrive not on horseback, but on a donkey, on a young donkey. A king not coming in power to wage war against Israel's enemies by physical force, but coming in peace, humility and submission. And when they saw this sign, they should take hope and abandon fear. When God's king arrived in Jerusalem on a donkey, it's a cue to recognise that God is at work. The kingdom is coming. To use C.S. Lewis's language, Aslan is on the move. And so today, as we look around, we see signs to give us hope and to put fear aside. We have the annual springing up of new life in our gardens and the countryside as nature wakes up from its winter lockdown. We carry that hope that our vaccination programme will give us a greater measure of control over the pandemic and we will slowly emerge from all the hardships of the past year. But most importantly, we do have this reminder that in Jesus we have a king not just who came to conquer but who has decisively conquered, not as a military general, as the empires of his day would have expected and as many of the Jews would have also hoped, but as a submissive victim who was willing to be sacrificed. And so in this utterly unforeseen, counterintuitive way, giving himself into the hands of political and religious powers of his day and allowing them to do what they wished to him. In this way, Jesus was bent on conquest. God was bent on conquest to vanquish the powers of death, of sin and of evil, of completely overcoming human pride and selfishness with all of its chaotic and destructive impact. Now, we don't know whether in the coming months or years we will conquer the coronavirus decisively, or indeed any of the other challenges which we face, whether it be catastrophic climate change, the rise in exclusive nationalism, ongoing conflicts around the world, and the in continuing inequalities of poverty, race and gender. But, but, the arrival of Jesus in Jerusalem that day, and the subsequent events which took place, show us that we can have hope. Complete hope, complete confidence that God's kingdom is unstoppable. It ultimately will defeat all evil and sin and darkness. It will put all that is wrong right in this cosmos. We will have a world with no suffering, disease, war, violence, persecution or discrimination. One where all creation lives and flourishes in harmony. One where God is at the centre bringing things to his perfect conclusion. We live in this hope. We carry this hope to the world. Let's share this hope, this Holy Week and Easter. Let's pray together. 
God our Father, whose kingdom will not fail or come to an end, we put our hope and confidence afresh in you this day. Lord Jesus Christ, as you entered Jerusalem as King, determined to conquer through your own sufferings and death, may you enter afresh into our lives this day and conquer all that is unholy, dark or resistant to you. Holy Spirit, the presence of God among us and within us, fill us today and send us out in hope and confidence to share your hope and life with all those we meet in deed and in word to the glory of your name. Amen. Thank you.